Hi everyone, just come to share with you a journal that I've completed. Uh, this journal is a um, prayer journal and it's I've used a kit from Tsunami Rose called Hummingbird and some other of um, Tsunami Rose's uh, elements throughout the journal which I will point out if I remember. So anyway, this journal measures uh, 6 by 9 so full, uh, full length um, cover, uh, a clasp envelope, sorry, and it's been, I've sewn on this um, lovely kind of uh, hessian type canvas material, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's really nice, it feels lovely, and I've used this lace um, and this lovely trim here, which um, I got this on eBay and I got that from Amanda Charlesworth, um, I've stamped onto some canvas, the word faith, and it says faith makes everything possible, and it's just got this gold um, uh, kind of trim, the trim you would call it, yeah, around there. So anyway, it's got an organza ribbon closure, which can come off completely, and we'll go inside. So these are the lovely papers from Tsunami Rose, and I will link that below. Um, <clears throat> these are uh, the journaling cards from the Hummingbird uh, Journal Kit, and oh, just squash that and. The telegrams, they've been coffee dyed on the back, these have been backed onto some white cardstock, done some sewing throughout and it's got some flip flip ups. Uh, these are Tsunami Rose as well and I've just printed some lines on the back. Uh, these journaling cards are from one of uh, Daisy's other, uh, it's a prayer journal kit so that was from that and I just shrunk them down just a little bit because they are quite jumble. Um, and these flips up, flips down, uh, things to do, you know, on all the pages from the kit, you know, you can write on them as well, so that's pretty cool. Here I just made an envelope flip out, which I think I've glued slightly as normal. Um, where's my bone folder? Let's see if I can do this. Just a teeny weeny bit of glue when you're gluing it down to the page. And obviously that flips out for extra journaling, so that's that and that. Double doily tuck here and a journal card, so you can actually tuck something in there and in there and behind. Uh, this is from the Edith Holden book. Here I've just made a um, book page pocket, which I got the idea from Trisha Veramontes, and I've just got an oval tag in there and some flowers there. Here I just made, I just saw something on Pinterest and made a pocket, so it's uh, scrapbooking paper and a pocket there, and obviously a pocket in here and I've got some lace and flowers there, and just got some, uh, just a large piece of scrapbook paper folded in half, and you can use that to journal on. Another of one, one of Daisy's um, journaling cards, or postcards I should say. Um, another one of these Sue Olsen pockets and I've put some doily up there as well um, no you can't actually tuck anything in there but you can just put that in there and like that and you can tuck other things inside there as well got another doily tuck here which is a double doily tuck oh no it ain't no because I glued the flower down so it kind of stops that from being a second doily tuck large tag and a postcard. Some more things to-do lists. Uh, just made a lot of the book page marker there. And this is an envelope. There is tons with this kit. I only used a small portion of it. I thought I'd do a little journal. It still turned up quite big. I think there's like 80 odd pages in this front and back. Um, Initially I wanted just to do a little tiny journal. This is a paper bag, it's actually um, for putting your food waste in. Um, and on the like on this side of it, running down there, it actually said food waste. So I just covered that up with the pockets and done the same here. Journaling card, telegram and postcard. <clears throat> so you can actually put quite a lot of stuff in there. <clears throat> some writing paper, some more writing paper in the middle, hearts on a string.
Um, again, the other side, so you can put more stuff in there. Um, another bookmarky journal spot, <laughs> postcard, and another envelope. They're really pretty. And I'd, I printed on the back of them, so there's lines you could write on that as well. So there's that. And this obviously flips up. Another doily tuck here, with a large tag and journaling postcard and a, a flower that's from Amanda Charlesworth. Another postcard. Um, this is just a kind of flip down journaling spot. Um, you can write on there. It's a pull a lemon idea. Um, journaling postcard, another one of these large cards that you can journal on. And just a belly band there, and that just slips on like so. Postcard, and obviously this is left open, so you can actually tuck things inside there. I forgot to mention that, so I don't know if that'll fit, but yeah, you could tuck things in there. And that's open, it's just got a little oval tag there. Uh, here I just made an envelope and I've done some stitching and this is left open so you could actually tuck things inside there as well. Like, you know, the lace would actually hold it in place. Um, large journaling card. Actually, I trimmed that down a little bit. And I've done some decoupaging with um, a napkin. I just, well, a butterfly from a napkin. Oops, just missed a few pages there. Eight. And that flips up, flips down. And some more ephemera and journaling cards. And that flips up, like I've glued it down. <laughs> just like so and the back so that is the journal um, I will have this listed on my blog and the link will be below to that if you're interested um, let's see if I can tie this in a I'm terrible for tying knots and bows and oh, it's terrible look see what I mean <laughs> anyway I'll sort that out in a minute um, if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye